We spend many days busily doing this and busily doing that, so a visit to the Photolink Library with Mike Stevens is probably just what we need. Work, work, work. A hundred things to do each day and never enough time to do them. This is an Eileen Chorba image demonstrating just that. Fortunately, Mary Gabriel of Tuncani gave us the start of a drive that just may help us replace the realities of life with a large helping of just plain nice. On a good day for a hike, perhaps you'll take the trail Kara Pierce of Whitehaven did and run across this. Helps to block out the troubles of any day. A bit of color. It's always a nice break in the day. This is from Donna Fulta, Laceyville. A bit of heat can surely make matters better. That is, if you're used to it. This is from Sherry Skrutsky of Archbold. Life comes in all kinds of shapes and sizes. Nature is a grand designer. This is from Eileen Chorba. Even a small bit of life will do. Jennifer Rudderman of Tunkanic labeled this pause, and it certainly makes us do that. Sounds like a grand idea. But the big winner has got to be the sky above. Look up, and there is something to be in awe of. A cotton candy sky from Trinity Mawad, Tafton. An early morning sky here, sent in by Jay Kuehl, Dushore. A late day sky, sunset on the Susquehanna from Bonnie Larson, Williamsport. Another day ending here in a capture from Philly Bob Squires, Lake Harmony. If it's a good day and we are lucky enough to be out in it, perhaps we'll get two for the price of one. Kathleen Borkowski of Beach Lake certainly was. Some days we wish to be where John Keeler was on this particular morning. Bad days have a harder time finding us if we have a good start. I'm Mike Stevens in the Photolink Library.